Hi, I'm David Willis and this is Solar Hot Water TV. I'm here alongside Dean Bell of Action Man Plumbing. We both work for Action Man Plumbing and Columbia Basin Solar, as you know. And we just took a road trip down to Redmond, Oregon to visit the guys at Cascade Sunworks. Cascade Sunworks makes a really cool solar tank that we've been hearing about and that we saw at Soul West recently over in John Day, Oregon. And we've been looking for another solar appliance to use instead of the Heliodyne Heliopack external heat exchanger, which we don't like to install anymore. So we went down there to check out what they had. What did you think about the tank, Dean? You know, I'm pretty impressed with the tank. You know, it's, it's got a lot of features that Heliodyne does not have in their package with the external heat exchanger. We've got a computer brain right here that does a lot of functions. We're going to get more into the detail in the future of exactly all the functions. But one of the things I like the best is they have a vacation mode, which you can actually set up, and while you're on vacation at night, it circulates the glycol through the heat exchanger to keep from overheating the glycol. You know, another one is they have a built-in flow meter. Something Heliodyne didn't tell us about. I think it's important. One reason is you can actually see the fluid in here to see when the fluid needs to be changed. Three to five years is really what's recommended, but you can see when the color changes in here and becomes a brown color, you should really change it. Another deal is one pump instead of two pumps. Yeah, less electricity. Exactly. You're going to save a little bit of money right there just with the single pump system because all they do is circulate the water around the outside jacket of the tank. Great idea. Cutting down on service of pumps. You know, maintenance is a big part of what I've been preaching. Tanks more expensive, you know, no doubt about it. But I think really ultimately with their system, which we'll once again be showing you later on exactly how one of these is going to be set up, they have three expansion tanks in their system. Once again, Heliodyne, you didn't tell us about that kind of stuff that we really should have on these systems. So, so the reason we have this one here is because we actually made a sale and we're going to be installing this at the end of the month. So we're going to give you an update on what it's like to install this tank and how it works. Because really, isn't that what we really need in the industry? Real reviews. We're going to give you a real review of this tank, which we bought. We're going to install it. We're going to get it up and running. And we're going to tell you exactly how it worked out. And that's what you get on Solar Hot Water TV. The honest truth. That's right. Have a the, good day. The Bye. other thing the other thing I want to say is that the uh, customer service is another big piece of it, too. And meeting with the guys down there at Cascade Sunworks, with Scott and his installers, we know where they are. We can get them on the phone, we can talk to them, they answered lots of questions for us, and that's also very important. And you've got to think about that when you're deciding what kind of equipment you want to install. How is it going to be supported when you have problems or you have questions? No doubt about it. Customer service, Cascade Sunworks, number one. Looks good. We'll see you next time on Solar Hot Water TV.